Let's go out to Fort Collins and speak with Mark. Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good, how are you? I am very well. Thanks for asking. And uh, U.S. Steel, I believe, is that the instrument that you want to take a look at? Yeah, I've just kind of been moderately following it. I don't have a position. I had one a while ago, made some good money on it, and I just wanted to see what your thoughts are on that. Okay. Uh, so if I look at, so here's what we know profile-wise, below the daily, uh, right now this week it's below the weekly, so 1034 uh, is that. If we close below that, that suggests a lower price. Uh, you got a hammer candle back here on uh, the week of August 26, and we're trading below that level, 1016. We know when you trade below the low of a hammer candle, that's really never good out there. If I just expand the monthly time frame chart before we go look for any other signals, this would suggest to me that U.S. Steel is headed back to the uh, swing point from January 2016 in the 615 to 825 area, at least for a test. Now, volume down there looks like about 199 million shares. Uh, this month, you're at 192. We're all, you know, we've got several trading days left in the month. So it's pushing, pushing towards that swing point with volume. So at this stage, uh, before we go look at other charts, it appears that the January 2016 area is where U.S. Steel is headed to. Now, Let's go look at my other charts. Uh, we might as well start with the, let's just start with the monthly time frame. So we've got a little bit of a bigger picture out here. Now, what the monthly time frame chart shows for us, uh, Mark, is the uh, breakout level is $8.52. So that's another area to be watching. The nice thing about the monthly time frame chart, it also shows us the importance of that oscillator and change line. That's that red and green line. And last month, that was a resistance level. It's like the bounce got up there and turned back down. When the line is red, it tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero on the monthly time frame chart. That's a bearish message. So I would say 852 would be a spot to be looking at. Let's look at the weekly time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart, when this did bottom, it was with a, a seventh wave move out here. Um, but uh, price is trading below that at this stage. So that's just suggesting lower price. I don't see any other pattern to the downside right now to consider. And on the uh, daily time frame chart, today is going to be bar number eight of a potential TD nine count bottom. Um, now that low could really come tomorrow or the next trading session. Mark, do me a favor, hold on through this break. I wanna answer any other questions that you have, uh, but I can't do that because we're going to a hard break in about seven seconds. This is Steve Roach with TFNN, we'll be right back. Colorado, we're taking a look at uh, U.S. Steel. Uh, Mark uh, doesn't have to, doesn't appear that has much love going on out there. So uh, after taking a look at those charts, uh, and you're an excellent trader out there, is there something that else that you're looking at um, or, you know, to identify maybe a bottom or, you know, you, you say you've been watching it for a while. So based on what we looked at, what you're looking at, any, any, anything else that I can answer for you or any input no, or anything you'd want to share? And I am seeing if it's going to break any of these swing points. Um, it looks like it was starting to break that 993. I was looking at the volumes for the week, and it doesn't look like it will probably have enough volume to do another potential ABC down. So I was just kind of just checking it out. But I, I like that 852 and in the very bottom down in that six range are definitely places to keep an eye on. So that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Mark, thanks so much for calling in, and uh, have a uh, wonderful uh, Wednesday. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. You bet.